My name is Liz, and I work at EFF. I'm a, a technologist general is my title. I'm on the tech ops team, and um, we do uh, we manage a lot of the the internal technological infrastructure for EFF, and we do tech support um, and workshops. We're at the point here at EFF where uh, the majority of the organization is using GPG and is using it regularly. We have uh, a GPG key for info at EFF.org and also for um, vulnerabilities at EFF.org, which we think is really important if people, you know, both of those, a lot of times people are writing info at EFF.org to seek legal advice and it's often about a very sensitive situation with sensitive details that they feel comfortable providing over a GPG and they wouldn't feel comfortable providing otherwise. I've traveled to a few countries in South America and also Mexico to do PGP trainings um, or general encryption trainings, threat modeling and encryption trainings for both activists and journalists. The people that I've worked with down there, a lot of them are journalists and they're often reporting on shady politicians or um, drug cartel activity and so they're very, they feel very much at risk. If they don't feel like they can communicate without their adversaries listening in, um, then they just don't communicate as much or they feel like they have to communicate in person and that's not always practical, so sometimes the communications just don't happen. We like to start with a threat modeling exercise. We like to talk to people, have them tell stories, um, ask them questions. There's a threat modeling game that we play sometimes, and we try to figure out what data they need to protect, who they need to protect it from, what's the probability that, that, that the adversary has the capacity to access that data, and then what are the consequences if they do. And with that information, we can start to um, think about the program of the workshop, what, what we should cover, what sort of tools should we install and configure and learn. And um, oftentimes, GPG is, is one of those tools. If people need to protect their email communications, it's the best tool out there. I think that, you know, if you understand how to use it and you are using it in an environment on a computer that's free of malware, um, I think it's, it's, it's solid and it's a good way to communicate and be confident that your communications are private. It can instill confidence um, and remove you know, that chilling effect, that, that, that fear that somebody's monitoring your communications. It makes you more able to say what you need to say when you need to say it. It's liberating. End-to-end -end encryption is very important. Um, it's a powerful tool to use. It's one of the ones that we can, it protects us from um, various points of failure. And we encourage people to use PGP, GPG, and not only, we encourage people to use it, we realize that a lot of people think that they have nothing to hide we think that everybody has something to hide. <laughs> um, but even if you are totally sure that you have nothing to hide, if you think that other people have things to hide and that it's a good idea for them to be able to hide those things, we think that you should be using these technologies, that you should be using GPG because that helps protect those other people that really do need to use GPG.